order. So, so you can you can see like after a lot of Jacobi iterations, the solution error is like a smoothed version of the original solution. So let me let me see if I have any bug in this uh, near the boundary. Why do I get a Oh, I know what happens. Okay, so when I'm iterating for i goes from 2 to n minus 1, is that right? I should be doing 2 to n, right? That's why this doesn't look right. Uh, I mean, here and here uh, shouldn't shouldn't be as bright as as it is. All right. Okay, so let's let's try again. Uh, u is equal to zeros for this to a hundred iterations bigger I am sure okay let's wait for five seconds for the hundred Jacobi iterations to finish what why am I still getting something like that Yes? Do I need to clear the existing? I already have a... Start again from zeros. I think I did start again from zeros. Did I save this? Yes, I did. Okay, can you help me debug this? This figure 3 and 4 looks identical. So why didn't that help? U next is equal to zeros and plus 1. Both i and j goes from 2 to n. Hmm. Let me just uh, run it again to see. So if I just uh, run this again. So I should get, I should get also a slightly darker border on this size too, right? Yes. If you check that V is wrong, you wanna update your solution within the loop, like after each, each iteration. I want to update my solution yeah, after each iteration. Right you're always taking the same U. Yes, but the output is overwritten by U um, next. Right. Yeah. Show your B. Is huh? B right? Is B right? I think so. So, uh, what do you want to check about B? The construction of B, how the boundary is. Oh, the construction of B. That's right. Okay. Thank you. I think when I when I'm constructing B. Right. When I'm constructing B, that's that's wrong. Okay. For J equal to two to A. B. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, now my B is correct. So yeah, so I made the, mis the same mistake when I'm constructing B. So now B is correct. And uh, so now let's do this again uh, to make sure we have the right thing. What? Is there aliasing? When you said u equals to Jacobi, does that make MATLAB set you next to 
to the reference by reference. Like, when you're in that loop, does it modify the U because you set your next thing to U? Uh, yes, MATLAB actually does, uh, uh, does the functions are passed, I mean the arguments are and returns are passed by value, so it's, it does, yeah, so it, I think it does some copying. Is the order for that white all around? Pardon? Is the order for that white all around? Can you say again, sorry? Is the border, is it white all around? Yeah, like it's a, it, it's, uh, is there is a white range to? over here, and uh, so we, we should be seeing a symmetric, uh, we, we should see a black over here and also over here. Something is wrong with, uh, something might be wrong with the iteration. Or with the B. Let me just uh, review my construction of my B. Oh, we want to use U exact instead of U. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so yes, U. Let me say U is equal to U exact. Oops. I shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Then. Yes. So still, I think uh, when I'm constructing B, I use the wrong U. So I should be now using the uh, correct U. OK, that's good. So my B, I think, is good now. And uh, now let's say U is equal to zeros. And uh, do this again. Want to make sure we have the right input. <laughs> garbage in, garbage out. <laughs> if we have the, OK, all right, all right. OK, we are, we are good for now. So, so as we can see, the after a few iterations, the solution error is like a smooth version of the original picture.